Hello, and welcome to episode 169 of the Pharmacist Voice podcast. I'm the host, Kim Newlove. Today's episode is part of my Back to School series, which features interviews with nine pharmacists who teach online courses. Up next is Dr. Asha Bohannon. She talks about her two online courses. There are two, Impact Pharmacist and PGX Ally. Links to both those courses are in the show notes, which you can find at thepharmacistvoice.com. Just click on the podcast tab and search for episode 169. Thanks again for tuning in. Now, here's my conversation with Dr. Asha Bohannon. Hi, Asha. Welcome back to the Pharmacist Voice podcast. This is your third time here. It's good to have you. Thank you for having me on again, Kim. You know how much I love you, so this is exciting. Thank you. Love you too. <laughs> if I, it's, it was fun working with you on Impact Pharmacist, your audiobook that you and Eric made. And now we're here today to talk about how you use your voice as an educator with your online courses. But first, before we get to that, I just want to establish who are you and <laughs> what's your background? Yeah, so I have been a pharmacist for 20 years, um, which is crazy to think that it's been that long. Um, But I was in retail pharmacy for a majority of that and then decided to uh, strike out on my own. Um, So for many years, I spent time throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick. And eventually what stuck was my desire to really make an impact in patients' lives. And then it kind of slowly turned into making an impact within the profession of pharmacy. Um, And so that's why we're here talking today. Um, I decided to kind of strike out and help other pharmacists find their passion, their fulfillment in their career, um, and and kind of make that switch over to more wellness and prevention versus um, the uh, pill pushing feeling and feeding people's illnesses that we feel like we've been doing for so many years. So that's where we're at right now. That's so on brand of you to say the word impact. I love that (laughs) (laughs) because your your second book is Impact Pharmacist. Well, I understand that you now have online courses and that's new since you were on episode 77 of the Pharmacist Voice podcast. You were just getting started with that. And now these courses are here. They're tested. They're tried. They're true. I'd love for you to just have the floor and tell me all about what you've been up to. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Yes. So uh, we did create the Impact Pharmacist Program. And uh, for a very long time, it was a one-on-one, hands-on program that Eric and I had both worked on together. And then as we kind of got through that, we wrote the book, which you so graciously um, did the audio voice for, um, which was amazing. So um, yeah, thank you for, for being a part of that. Um, And then since then, we decided that we really wanted, um, what we really wanted from this course was to make it accessible. We wanted it to be something that people, um, we do feel like it's something that people really need to know. It's the basic foundations of creating any kind of wellness-based business. Um, and it, it literally walks you through from point A to point Z of launching your business. Um, and so it gives you all the mindset, the business and strategy and tools and resources and everything that you would need um, to get started. And when I say mindset, obviously we all have uh, different versions of what that means, but really looking at getting out of your own way, figuring out what it is that you want to do, um, figuring out what your strengths are, why you're doing what you want, you're doing, why you're trying to get out of what you're already doing. All of those things are touched upon. And then we go into a lot of the business things, um, the business aspects to starting a business. Um, So a lot of what um, our philosophy is, is really risk avoidance. Um, So when you think about entrepreneurship, a lot of people think that that is around um, taking a lot of risks and it doesn't have to be. It actually can be around avoiding the, what we call the four pitfalls of, of, of risk and starting your own practice. Um, And so a lot of that starts with um, figuring out who your target market is, who your target audience is, um, and then what what it is that you're doing for that target audience. So really looking at what your services are, the the programs or uh, products that you're going to be selling. And then looking at from there what that is in the market, in the marketplace. Does that fit with where you are, what you're trying to do? And then how do we value what we're doing 
as a pharmacist, because we all know, I know you know, that we have spent so many years feeling undervalued and devaluing ourselves, giving away information for free, that most of us just have no clue even how to go about doing this um, and, and pricing ourselves. So that's a large part of what we do. And then by the end of the course, you have a business ready to launch. And so that, that's the basics of the Impact Pharmacist online program. Um, and then we have the option to consult and we have a consulting package that if you do want a little bit, a little bit more of the hands-on and you want some more help with, um, with the consulting piece of it and getting some more, uh, I like to put it into a little box with a bow on top then we have that option as well where you can work with us one-on-one -on -one a little bit more. So that is where the Impact Pharmacist Online program fits in. Is the so, course self-paced or do you have cohorts where you meet once a week? What's it like? Yeah, so we have um, a couple different options. So um, the, right as it stands right now, we have it's self-paced. Um, the way we set it out is it's six sections. And if you do all the work, all each section has all the workbooks, the templates, all the Excel spreadsheets, and all the things that you would need, all the resources. Um, each section takes about two weeks. So by the end, it's about a three-month course if you go straight through. Uh, life does happen, I know. So that's why we made it self-paced so you could do it on your on your own. Um, a lot of, of my students, my current students, actually get the consulting package because it helps keep them accountable. So each uh, after each section, they do a session with me um, to, again, button it all up and make sure that you're ready to go to the next section because each section does build on the one previous to it. Um, and so that that's kind of what gets them to the end. And one thing I will say, I'm going to say a caveat, a lot of what a lot of people do, and I did this, so I am guilty as well, is that we want to get to the exciting part, um, which is the name and the LLC and the, you know, what, what it is that, uh, that you want to call yourself and the branding aspects, which is all so important, so important. But what I found was I put the cart before the horse a lot of the times. So I got really excited. And then I ended up having to change everything because I changed what I wanted to do, who I wanted to target, what my brand was actually going to be. Um, and so, yes, you can brand yourself you, when you want to do that. But what is the brand of the company that you are building and the practice that you're building? Um, and that really starts with wh who are you targeting? Um, and so that's, that's a lot of what we talk about. So at the end of the program, we have the option to work with us for branding and messaging and marketing, and really kind of give you all the, the bells and whistles that you're looking for to launch that business full fledged. Um, and so it's really, it's an exciting time in pharmacy and this is the time. And, but I always feel like you have to do the right things in the right order to be successful and thrive in what you're doing. Doing things in the wrong order was my superpower when I started. <laughs> I thought it was important to get the name of the company and the business cards and the phone number and the email and the website and all those things. I'm telling you right now, I did things out of order and it is a high value course if you are pointing them out to people. I love that you talked about the target market. I didn't even think about my target market. I had like one idea. I was going to narrate pharmacy continuing education journals for whoever wanted me. But I think I needed to like really niche down. And in your book, I know you talk about niching and, and all that great stuff. And I love that you're talking about your course being something where they can complete a portion and then unlock the, the next portion. And between that, you're making sure that they are on the right path. They've really stopped to think about things. And I just want to say how much I appreciate that as a person who has admittedly done things out of order. It is in fact my superpower. But anyways, back to you. Tell me a little bit more about your other course. So you've got Impact Pharmacist, and then what's the other one? Yeah, so um, earlier this year, I actually partnered with two other amazing pharmacists um, who we all have the same mission and, and vision and values of raising the profession of pharmacy together. Um, and so we created a company called PGX Ally. Um, so what we've done is we've incorporated this Impact Pharmacist online program to PGX Ally, um, but kind of adding that extra oomph, if you will, um, with pharmacogenomics and comprehensive medication reviews and really believing that pharmacists should be 
the seat at that table because we are the medication experts. Um, there is no other reason why anybody should boot us out of this. Um, and so we are really looking to uh, give opportunities to pharmacists to help them um, get their feet wet if that's what they're interested in doing. Um, so we're starting to work with um, healthcare organizations and things like that to give pharmacists the opportunity but with that, the other, the other side is the entrepreneurial side, which is where the Impact Pharmacist Online program comes in. So we wanted to incorporate that as, again, the basic foundational information that everybody should have that when it comes to wanting to start their own wellness-based business. And then uh, with PGX Ally, we add in um, a PGX uh, online version as well, or course that teaches you how to incorporate PGX into the, into your practice, as well as um, the sales. So a lot of us don't know sales. Um, I used to joke around and say I was, you know, a legal, we all do this, a legal drug pusher, because <laughs> that's what we sold. We never had to sell anything, right? People came to us and got the things that they needed, and that was it. And so we never really got taught the art of sales. Um, and I have spent the last 10 years of my life um, working on that, trying to perfect it. And um, just my one little piece of my my pearl, if you will, for this podcast. And what I tell everybody is when people think of the word salesperson, they start getting goosebumps and running the other direction. And what I'm here to share with you is I don't call myself a salesperson. I call myself a share person. I share what I have to offer. I share what our profession has to offer. And it's going to resonate with the people that it needs to resonate with. Um, and so it never feels for lack of a better term, it never feels icky. <laughs> and so that's what I want to share with people is share, share, share. That's what it's about. It's about sharing the value you bring to the table, sharing what you have to offer. And so that's where, um, what we teach in the PGX ally course, when it comes to the, the services of adding, you know, farm coach genomics or, uh, CMR, MTM, the nuances that we add. And so, and that also in that program, we off, we include the software for the pharmacogenomics. We, um, offer, we have something called a business in a box. So we literally give you all the business templates, all the, um, all the tools, marketing, branding, all the strategy, everything is done for you um, within that package as well. So um, that's kind of an add-on or a little um, shift over to uh, a, a different aspect of holistic and, and wellness and lifestyle medicine. I love that term share because I, a lot of us, you're right, we don't like to feel salesy, you mm -hmm. know, and that's that's how it can feel unless you think of it in a positive way and you're just sharing and that's not salesy. I like that. Now, I, it sounds like you guys are totally on the business side of PGX. You're not on the science side. You don't teach the science of it at all, right? Right, right. So there are so many wonderful courses out there, um, CEs, certifications, all of those things. So what we're looking for is to really, um, you have the foundational kind of basic knowledge. So there are CEs out there, there's certification courses, we, you know, all, all around. Um, and we have few, a few that we recommend um, if you need some, but that's not what we're here to do. We're actually here to give you the opportunity to use that knowledge. Um, and the knowledge that we already have and bring to the table. So for example, for myself, I started doing um, pharmacogenomics in my practice for years. Um, and I was sifting through the millions of pages <laughs> of reports. Um, but we partnered with a software system to really help break that down and make it a much more simplified process. Um, and so a lot of it is just really knowing where the resources are, what we're looking for, and what the terminology means. Um, and so there's just so much out there to, to go ahead and get that on board. So now you can come and, and work with us and contract with us to do this uh, on the side of whatever it is that you want to do or build a business while you're trying to get your feet wet in the pharmacogenomic space. That's very clear. I think that makes you highly referable. You know, next time I have, if I, there is a next time, if I have a pharmacogenomics pharmacist series again, which I had, I think a four part one this earlier this year. I think I would want to include you because I've talked to people that know the science, 
but then, you know, the business part, I had Jamie Wilkie talk about it, but then you guys are also a different opportunity to help with the business side of things. I don't think there can be enough of that out there because everybody's got to find the, the partner that that's right for them that can teach them what they don't know. You're filling a gap for people who don't know the business side. And I just appreciate that. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I love, uh, I love Jamie Wilkie. Um, she's fantastic. And I think, um, there's just so much that so much information out there. And that's the one thing that I personally have been wanting to, uh, to dive into since we met back in 2018, like for four years, I've been really trying to help sift through all the knowledge and, and information that's out there. Um, and, and it becomes so confusing. And so that's what I always recommend to people. I'm here to share with you what I have, what I have to offer. And if it's not the right thing for you, I am more than happy to tell you that this is not for you. Um, but I, what I do feel like is the impact pharmacist online and, um, the PGX ally biz in a box, it gives you all the information and tools that you need to start, um, to get out there and actually go do it. Because we always say, okay, stop getting in your way, just go do it. But what we end up doing is we do the, the fun things and we do the things that are easy. The harder things are the ones that we kind of let fall to the wayside. And then we end up feeling not successful at what we've attempted to do. Um, and so we're trying to kind of take that out, take the guesswork out and give you all the tools and resources that you need um, to be able to start and thrive. Where can people find these online courses? So we have a couple of different places. So one, um, my, my practice is called PAI, P-A-I, wellnessgroup.com. And uh, the Impact Pharmacist Online is, is there, as well as the consulting packages and everything that I have to offer. Um, and then for the PGX Ally, you can go to pgxally.com um, and go to the Pharmacist tab. We have a wonderful form um, that you can fill out for um, more information. And then you'll get emails from us kind of sharing where we are in the process, general knowledge, um, everything that you would need to know. Um, and then we also have a masterclass. I did want to share that. It's a free one hour video masterclass um, on piwellnessgroup.com. You can go under the courses. It's there. Um, sign up. You get it. You have a lifetime access to it, but it kind of goes through the basics of our Impact Pharmacist Online program, the book, and, and everything is right there for you. Awesome. Now I've got to ask the hard question. What's the investment? <laughs> um, so for the impact pharmacist online program, just the program itself is a thousand dollars. Um, and then the consulting package is five hours of time with me for 650. So total, if that you wanted to buy the whole package, it's 1650. Um, and then the business in a box of the PGX ally, which includes everything, like I said, does include the impact pharmacist online, the PGX practice 101 is what I'm calling it. Um, the software, uh, opportunity to get contracts, the business templates, as well as the marketing and branding component is $5,000. That is a lot that you include for that. I'm sure. <laughs> It's a yes. lot. It's a lot. But we really wanted this to be as accessible to as many people because we want this in everybody's hands if they're able and if they're wanting this in their life. Um, because this is this is about you getting out there and helping us raise the profession of pharmacy um, and getting this seat at that table that we all so know that we <laughs> rightly deserve um, for all that we put into it. So we're excited to partner with anybody and everybody that's really interested in and doing that and, and walking along this journey with us. Your advocacy for the profession is strong. I definitely can hear it. I love that. <laughs> now, I know that there's a lot of people that want to leave their retail pharmacy job and start a wellness practice or a pharmacogenomics practice. And it sounds like you give them the tools that they need on the business side to be able to do that. And pharmacists, we don't have a lot of business training, do we? Not at all. Um, actually, I had one particular client who was had just started her MBA um, as we were starting to work with each, each other with the Impact Pharmacist Online program. And she ended up quitting the MBA because she said what she needed was in the Impact Pharmacist Online course. Um, she didn't need to get all of the other information from the MBA and she wasn't wanting to get into something else in finance or some other um, business world. And so 
she ended up just using our course. Um, so Eric has his MBA. He's been there. He did it actually focused on entrepreneurship. So everything that we, you need to know is in this course. And I actually put myself, this is how I started my business was through this course. This is why we put this together because I had done everything else. I was so adamant not to ask him for help. I don't know why, I guess, because he's my husband. <laughs> We don't like asking for help, especially from our husbands. <laughs> I know. And I never did. And then I was the one that did all the wrong things. Like you were saying at the beginning and I did oh, the fun things. It is. It is a definite superpower. Um, but you only, you only, only want to do the, the fun things, right? Like the, the things that actually feel good. And um, so anyways, after I did all that, I did swallow my pride when I talked to him about it. And um, he, we literally walked through each parts of this. And then the program actually has everything business, but it also has, so what I bring to the table is the clinical, the practical, the tactical, the sales, the time management. How do you do this as a busy mom with a job, with other businesses, other interests, other, you know, take self-care, like all of those things. You got to figure out how to do all this. So that's all in this course as well. It's not just business related. It's actually helping you elevate your life as well, because that's what it takes to become the successful entrepreneur that you want to become. And you can't let everything else fall to the wayside and just have the business stuff and, and let that fall fall off. So so it's got, I I feel like it's got everything that you need to have. And it's the only way that I was able to be as successful as I am today. You talked a little bit earlier about having that one student that was in an MBA program and she felt like your program was the better fit for her. And we talked about the investment into this sort of education. And I would say it's probably a lot cheaper than going to a university. That's just my guess. And it's self-paced. Can you think of some other reasons that people should choose your online courses over competitors, you know, such as universities? Yeah. Um, you know, this is, this is what I say whenever I get asked this question about competitors, like I I really don't feel like there's competition out there. So I want to say that, um, I feel like everybody's going to find the right fit for them. Um, what I will say is I believe that this course has everything that you need to start a successful wellness-based business, um, and practice. And so it gives you literally, like I said at the beginning from point A to point Z, it helps you niche down. It helps you figure out what it is that you want to do all the way to launching. And then we've got all the other bells and whistles, whistles, if you want them. Um, and so it's got everything that you need. So it, it it's, what I say to people is I want you to do the research and pharmacists are notorious for research, but don't get confused. Don't let yourself get confused by the noise, figure out what it is that you want to do and then find the program that fits you the best. That's solid advice. Thank you. Asha, I got to ask this question. I love the topic of myths and misconceptions. When students buy into your online courses or coaching with you, what's one myth or misconception that they have going into it? That's a great, great question, Kim. So when I say that our course is business-minded, but it gives you all the tools, even mindset, strategy, everything that you need to get a, a business up and running, that is the truth. But the one misconception is that they're going to come out at the other end of it with this thriving business. The key ingredient that it takes is the hard work and effort that that individual puts in. So it's not just going to happen. You're not going to miraculously just snap your fingers. I did all this work and now I have this thriving business. You have to put in the work. You have to put in the effort during the program as well as for many years after that. Um, And it's all based off of the time and the commitment that you're able to put into it. So I say that because we have some people that want to do this as a side hustle, as a hobby, as a, they just want to have some sort of impact in somebody's life on the side of a job that they already have, that they may love, or they want to take this to the Uber level and get out of their job, their current situation, whatever it is. And this, they want this to be their plan A. Um, And so anywhere in between, but that's all based off of your effort and what you have to be able to give into it. And so I think that's the misconception that people have is they're going to come out and they've got everything in place and then that's it. So it's like the hard work, the dedication and the commitment that you put into it and the time that you're able to put into it. 
Absolutely. Boy, that's a good one. And you got to have a really good business idea in the first place too, you know? Well, that's the stuff we help you with, right? So that's the stuff that we can help you get to, but it's after that, once you've got all those things in place, you've got it automated, you've got the the services in place, you know who you're serving, um, you've got everything all buttoned up really nicely, what next, right? And that really comes to putting yourself out there and making it happen. Um, and so that's, that's the key to, and that's the ingredient that I can't, I can motivate and I can give you the mindset and I can inspire all day long, but in the end, it's you that needs to go out and do it. Um, and so that's, that's the key ingredient, um, that a lot of people misconceive as being, oh, I'm going to have it at the end. And you might start out that way, but what's going to keep you there? I gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like when I went into voiceover, you know, I had to learn how to do the thing basically. And then once I knew how to do the thing, it's up to me to show up for auditions. It's Mm -hmm. up to me to negotiate rates with clients and so on. I don't have to go into this. You get it. But (laughs) (laughs) like, I feel it too, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's in everything. It's in everything, right? I mean, even even if you're looking at a 40 hour a week job, like you still have to get up and go because if you don't, are you going to get paid? Nope. The answer is no. So it's the same concept. It's just you got to work a little bit harder if it's your own, because now you've got to go out and find the business and you've got to do the marketing and the sales and the I'm all for I'm a uh, self-professed personal and professional development junkie. Um, and so I, you've got to do those things to be able to keep up and make it what you need it to be. Um, and there's no right or wrong answer here. That's the other misconception is I think people think, oh, I, I'm investing in this. It, it's got to blow up and be this incredible um, business, or I've got to be on top of the world with it. That's, that's not the case. You have to figure out you. So one of my favorite phrases, I tell this to my kids all the time is you do you boo. <laughs> You do you, boo. Like nobody's judging you. Nobody's looking. This is all for you. Um, Mm -hmm. What we wanted to do is give you the basic foundational stuff, the inspiration, the motivation, and everything that you need to get going, get off your rear and make it happen. Um, And that's what we are here to do. And then after that, the world is your oyster. Congratulations on successfully creating these courses in the year and a half or so since the last time I had you on the podcast. It seems like you're very successful and you really know your client and what they need. And I'm so happy that you you finally started listening to your husband because look at where it's gotten you. I mean, seriously, you guys are a great team. Thank you so much. Well, we we thoroughly enjoy working with each other and um, it's just such a joy to um, have him be a part of it and really understand, um, he's not a pharmacist. So, but understand he's been with me for, we've been together for 14 years. So, um, so we, we know he knows this side of things really well. So really excited to be a part of it. And, um, thank you again for having me on. Oh, my pleasure. Absolutely. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we wrap this up? Um, I think the, the last thing that I would say is, um, something that I already said, but I'm going to reiterate it is that, this is this is the time in pharmacy right now to go out and and be who you want to be. Um, and we were just talking about this. I've been I share this with my young my oldest son. Is this is your time to reinvent who you want to be because nobody has seen what pharmacists are capable of, and now is our time. So let's go out there and do it. Let's lock arms and do this together. There's no competition. We are all in this to raise the profession together. And I am thoroughly excited to meet people like Kim and other, other um, guests that she's had on the show to really raise the profession of pharmacy together. So thank you again for having me. And I look forward to hopefully speaking with a lot of you out there. Thanks again, Asha, for being here on the Pharmacist Voice podcast. You take care. Thank you.